Objection! Piece of cloth with a hand print on it and a broken shard from a cup. They look like pieces of evidence to me. Yo, but unless you can prove they have something to do with this case, uh, I'm, af I'm afraid I can't just let you take them, pal. After all, it's my neck on the line here. Great. Now I have to prove their relevancy to get them. Are these two items related to the SL9 incident? Come on, let's, there's gotta be something we can show the detective. Of one thing. I just need to see something here. Because I feel like he's wearing leather. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it this way. Oh. Well, let's examine the desk one more time. Wow, look at the size of Chief Gans' <clears throat> guest. We found this inside the drawer. A list of evidence from the SL9 incident. Mr. Edgeworth had the other <clears throat> on that list. What would this list be doing here? Better look a little more into this list. Detective Gumshoe, could you have another look at this jar? I remember when the three of us put that back together. Ah, oh, those were the days. Yesterday. <laughs> it's kind of early to be nostalgic. Wasn't this jar <clears throat> some evidence from that case? That's right. One of them shards had an SL9 incident sticker on it. Doesn't this ring any bells? You know, like that fragment we just found? You mean this one that was in the safe? Yeah, that yes, one. Yes, that one, the one that was in the safe. Mm-hmm. Oh! Nanny, you mentioned it! It's ringing a lot of bells, pal! Let's see if it fits! Here, let me see that shard. I'll take a crack at this. Go ahead, pal. Show us what a rookie could do. Mr. the right. Here's some glue. If I can piece this together again, it'll prove Chief Gant was knowingly hiding evidence. X. Oh. I was trying to move it over towards the... Fucking goober. There, it fits like a charm. That of course means Chief Gant willingly and knowingly hid a piece of a jar in this safe. In other words, he concealed a piece of evidence from the SL9 incident. But... Hey guys, get a load of this! What is it? This piece you just attached. It's different from the others. There's a reddish line on it! A reddish line? That's blood. I don't get it! <clears throat> Why would Chief Gant hide this in his safe? Unstable jar updated in the court record. Oh yeah, you should check out that evidence list, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> it's her drawing! Oh no! It's so perfect! He's so much bigger than him! It's it's the chief! I wonder what this is. Looks like someone drew some kind of sketch here. What is it? Did you find something? I can't make it out. I'd better keep quiet about it for now. Huh? Oh, no, it's nothing. Why are your eyes moving around like that, Mr. Wright? Because I'm lying. I mean, I'd better not forget about this picture. Maybe this is an important thing for later. <clears throat> you don't say. Okay, so he's... If I'm fired, I won't be able to give you any information, does that? That's why I have to get it out of my, all out of my system now. You understand, don't you? Don't be so negative, detective. We do want you to share your information, though. Oh, my fool, and I never had anything useful to share to begin with. Ah, I got to stay positive! So you have a, so you've, def, you've proven that the one bit is relevant. Do you have any way to prove that that cloth might be relevant? Well, I figured that the photo of Jake Marshall wearing leather. What if, or why Neil does Marshall that necessarily or... mean, like, lots of people can wear leather? Oh. I can't believe Officer Marshall would do something like that. You know Officer Marshall? Of course they do, he was like a mentor to me. When I first started out, he even gave me a small cactus. Really? He said, Dick, she'll listen to all your troubles. Note to self, Detective Gums, he talks to a cactus. Hard to believe he's just a patrolman now. Someone ought to trade places with him. 
What? Why are you looking at me like that? It was a cloth, but it had a big fucking hand oh, print I'll need on to, it. I'll need to... Detective Gumshoe, I'd like you to have a look at this. Hey, I know what that is. You want to take some fingerprints? That's a great idea, Detective. All right, go to town. Sheesh. Do you want me to hold your hand? No, I, want to <laughs> I was in blanket. character. Oh. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you sticking your hand out like that? Would you like me to hold your hand? I have to take it out from underneath the blanket first. <laughs> Go ahead, take my fingerprints. <clears throat> <laughs> um, it's not your fingerprints we want to take. Oh. Come on, this isn't the time for jokes. <laughs> We're talking about that cloth we found in the safe. Oh, uh, I, I knew that. This, was, this <clears throat> one with the hand print on it, right? Yeah. Jeez, what's your sense of humor, pal? Okay. Okay, Mr. Wright, let's check for prints. Sprinkle the powder on the cloth, then once they've been absorbed into the prints, blow the rest away. What are you, my mom? I don't have to be <laughs> told a million times. <laughs> All right, let's get this shit over with. Oh. I was probably supposed to look for whichever one looked the, the most solid. And we'll see if it works. Which one did you do? I did the uh, the one that looks the most solid. Okay. I didn't pay to I actually thought that I was going to dust the whole thing. Nope, that's a partial. Hmm. I gave my best shot. That kind of result won't be good, any good for matching prints, will it? But it doesn't look like we'll get a clear result from this print. Okay, let's try a different finger then. That one looks very deep and apart, but this one looks like there's more percentage of it. Because this also looks super deep. Yeah. So maybe it's this one. Perhaps. Only one way to find out. I'm so unhappy I haven't had a chance to say that to you guys yet. As what? a DM. Oh. <laughs> Where you ask a question and I just respond the only one way to find out. Every time Matt Mercer says it, I laugh a little bit. It's pretty fucking magical, right? It's a good thing to do. I mean, like, I don't, I'm don't. i not the one in charge. <gasps> that just reminds me of the dream I had last night. I had a dream last night that I met Matt Mercer. That's and, and I talked to him about you. Oh. And also my son, Vinny. <laughs> and my what girlfriend, Annie. And okay, he was like, blowing. And he was really just, he was kind of like, okay. He, he wasn't super, <laughs> like, he didn't super care about it. Yeah. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> so that cloth that looks like it could have been on that guy's chest, and for some reason, Emma's... Emma, oh. did you murder a man? No! How can this be? What are Emma's fingerprints doing here? Hey, you found a match! Whose fingerprints were they? Huh? Oh, uh, it seems the prints are too old. Uh, they aren't clear enough to get a match. Oh, that's too bad. I thought they'd be dark prints. Psst! Hey, you. Over here. What's going on here, pal? What are these little kids do prints doing inside the chief's safe? Don't ask me! Let's just keep this information from Emma for now. The thing that we really shouldn't probably be doing. Mm. Here, maybe you should hold on to this. Found in Chief Gant's safe. Evidence for something, but fucking what? It bears Emma Sky's prints. The cloth is Well, was that any help? Of course. Thanks to your ID card, we were able to get some hard evidence. Now, that's not very kind, is it? In other words, if it wasn't for his ID card, he would have been useless. Isn't that right, you in the coat? Chief <laughs> We didn't think you'd be back so soon. Unfortunately, I'm a man who believes in signs. As I was walking to my meeting, I happened to look out a window and saw a stray dog run into a pole. Just then, I thought of a certain detective. Do you, do you mean m me, sir? Now then, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask y'all to leave. Y yes sir sorry oh you on the coat M me sir 
drop off your ID on the way out. Y'all won't be needing it anymore. But, but, sir. Now get out. Yep. 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 Yep, 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 yep. If there was ever even the <laughs> slightest shred of a shred of a doubt that he was, that he was, you know, the bad guy, that's it. That face. He's got the fucking uh, Diavolo eye going on. <laughs> y yes, sir. We'll be on our way too, then. Wait, you the one without the spike of hair? Don't go yet. M me, sir? I'd like a word with y'all. But, sir, I'm not technically. God damn it! Not you with the spike. Y'all with the spike of hair. Y'all free to go. Let me miss the right. Emma Sky turned up in a river six days later. <laughs> Look, pal, if I told you once, I told you a thousand times, the chief's office is off limits. But no, you just had to go sneaking in there like that, didn't you? Phoenix, you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Mm, that hurt. I thought you said you didn't care anymore if you were fired. Yeah, but if I knew it'd be like this, I never would have said it. I've seen the evidence Chief Gant was hiding in the office. I think I'm finally starting to get the picture. But why has she kept eerily as silent about it all this time? Anyway, you listening to me? I'm gonna try to smooth things over to Chief again. Later, pal. Mm, bad idea. After that, I heard from Emma. She said the police wanted to ask her to some questions, so she'll be busy for the rest of the day. February 24th, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. I see. So the chief asked Emma to come in for questioning. It's no use thinking about it. Tomorrow's the final day in court. I'm committed to doing everything I can to defend you, which is why I'm here. But I've already told you all I can. What you've told me over these past couple of days is absolutely nothing. Not a fucking one thing. Really? I believe I did mention something quite important. Something I told you right at the beginning. I said that I was the one who stabbed Detective Goodman. You know, I think I finally figured it out. I know who it is that's lurking behind your words. Hmm. Mia did a good job mentoring you. I'm rather jealous. Ooh. It seems Edgeworth was right. Edgeworth? Once you're convinced you know something, no one can persuade you otherwise. Thick-headed is the term he used, I believe. Now's my chance to get her to tell me the rest of the story. Hey, I gotta admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. I think I swore at it at le about it at length to my girlfriend later on in the day. Uh, you insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're will unwilling to tell the truth, it's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? Do you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No. I think afraid of is more like it. Hmm. <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who may I ask is this person you're speaking of? The one I'm supposedly so frightened of? What is this person's name? I would say it. But he's right behind you, guarding the door. <laughs> Fucking think about how fucking insane that, that would be. be nice. The entire game is just Gant following you the fuck around. No, I mean the the door guard is the is oh. the mastermind of this one. No. Well, Miss Guy. Hmm. It's Gant, isn't it? Mister Ride, you are addressing the chief prosecutor. Do not forget your place. I take it she's still not ready to spill the beans. This would be a Cyclock if it was in a later game, but Phoenix doesn't have the Megatama yet. You'll understand in a few months. Okay. My apologies. Right about when we start playing Doom? No. Could you please tell me a bit more about what you think you know? We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide his crimes? His crimes? Both you and Edgy will be brought before a board of inquiry for what you've done. Specifically, hiding and forging evidence. 
Of course, these are serious offenses. Why is it, though, that the Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant? Edward didn't know the truth behind the forgery. <laughs> Excuse me, the only party who could have possibly transferred with the evidence was... Me. I, I had access because I was second in command of that investigation. Yes, you, but also one other, Damon Gant. Hmm. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Sorry for all the noise, everybody. I'm gonna <laughs> fall asleep if I keep playing Chief that Chief Gant way. falsified evidence in that case. I just found this in a safe in the chief's office. This jar piece and this piece of cloth. Do you know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. Hi. The person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Fucking Christ, you're moving the wires and shit. Well, the wire was caught on my foot. I had to undo it. Touché, Mr. Wright. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. And sentenced to death. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that she did take a plea. She tried to take a plea deal about uh, not getting the capital punishment if she just confesses. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Oh, uh, perhaps I should say follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Although I can't tell you the details, I can say that I was given an order that day. I need y'all to dispose of Bruce Goodman's body. Wow, isn't that supposed to be some kind of mystery? No, not at this point. <laughs> okay. Y'all find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. Just as I suspected. Despite what everyone believes, you are not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct. I was trying to take the body out of Miss Edgeworth's car. The trunk's lock was broken, and I discovered that murder weapon while inspecting the body. The murder weapon? You mean Edgeworth's knife? No. When I found the body, this was the knife stuck in it. That's why it was in the muffler. Oops. Excuse me. Oh, you can see it in this. There's the trigger. Oh, yeah. Shit. You'd think I would have noticed that just one you time. You were too busy freaking out about how you knew that Gant was the bad guy for hours and hours instead of just progressing. The knife from the SL9 incident, serial killer Joe Dark's knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him, so I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. Jesus Christ, that would be Edgeworth's knife. That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. And that's the reason for the bandage on your right hand? Yeah, so it seems that I got blood on the victim's shoes as well. And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Star, huh? Why'd you need to hide ni Dark's knife so badly? It took a lot of work to finally close the Dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. <laughs> So you hid Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. If word got out, which it would, the reporters would have a have field day with that. So you wrapped the knife in your scarf and hid it. In Edgeworth's exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what happened and ask her to hide the knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident. About Lana's innocence. Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. A bad feeling? The truth is, after I received those orders from Chief Kant, the first thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall. To Marshall? Why the fuck would you call Marshall? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident had been murdered. 
I wanted that fact to be kept hidden and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. He disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card, but it seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he must have had disappeared. So your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana... You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Now please... Don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. Tomorrow's trial. There's only one way to drive off Lana's demons. I've got to get to the bottom of everything. <sighs> Detective Goodman's real murderer. And what went down in the chief's office two years ago? Other than Neil Marshall, of course. He went down hard. He to died. He continued. It's been a minute since we did that one. Alright. 